Fox 4 News got an up-close look this afternoon at the site where a jet trainer crashed into two homes. Navy investigators call it a blessing that people on the ground were not more seriously injured in the crash yesterday near Fort Worth. Two people on the jet trainer did have significant injuries after they ejected, but only minor injuries were reported by people in the, Fort, the Lake Worth neighborhood where it all happened. Fox 4's Dion Anglin got a short look, an update from the Navy just a, a moment ago. Dion. Yeah, that's right. The Navy says it is not speculating as to what caused the crash. They'll let the investigation run its course, but they did provide an update on the two who survived. The instructor pilot was released from the hospital today. The student pilot is still in serious condition, hospitalized, being treated for his injuries. The Lake Worth neighborhood street on Monday remains under careful scrutiny. Scattered remnants where a jet trainer crashed after the Navy instructor pilot and student aviator ejected Sunday morning. John Baxter is part of the team supporting the investigation. They'll collect the debris and transport it to an installation for further review. The, the wreckage is predominantly contained to two rear backyards of homes. There's some additional uh, ancillary damage defenses. Navy officials confirm the plane that went down was similar to the one in this photo, a T-45C GoShock jet trainer. The two airmen from Naval Air Station Kingsville were conducting a routine training flight that began in Corpus Christi. Both men pulled their parachutes and survived. The Navy has said the student pilot was more seriously injured because of shocks he suffered from landing on power lines. Parts of the aircraft, even an ejector seat, lay strewn about, covered in plastic tarps, while investigators from NAS JRB take careful stock of the scene. For a tragic event like this, it's also a blessing. So one, the, the crew got out of the aircraft alive, and most importantly, there was no casualties on the ground. Um, so well, they, the, the only loss is the aircraft and property damage. You know, that, that can be restored. Navy officials say two homes were damaged. And as Baxter mentioned, no one on the ground was seriously injured. Some neighbors, though, watched the jarring sight as it occurred and described seeing the pilots in parachutes on their way down. Now, the Navy's safety and environmental teams have been here at this uh, site all day. They will continue to be here. Um, have not said how long that would be, but uh, they also are pointing out that if anyone in the community uh, happens upon any debris that could possibly still be uh, strewn about from this crash, they are urging you uh, to be to take all precautions. Do not touch it. Do not try to remove it, but instead call the Lake Worth Fire Department.